Dele Alli's family members react to his emotional interview, Arsene Wenger names the Premier League winner next season, and Harry Maguire loses United captaincy and could go to Chelsea. Hi, this is the latest Premier League news brought to you by Tribuna. As if it wasn't hard enough for Harry Maguire at Man United, a new blow has been dealt. Maguire is no longer Man United's captain after Eric Ten Hag took the own bound away from him. Maguire composed the mini essay on Twitter as a reaction. He thanked Ole Gunnar Solskjaer for giving him the captaincy in the first place, but avoided calling Eric Ten Hag by his name. Maguire is personally extremely disappointed, but will continue to give his all every time he wears the Man United shirt. The last part is doubtful. Maguire may have already played his last game for the club. West Ham reportedly won him, and according to The Sun, Chelsea also considered entering the race for Harry Maguire, who is said to be angry and shocked. It's not obvious why Chelsea would need Maguire, even their fans are mostly confused by the news. If there's one player Man United fans would personally drive to the airport just to see him go, it's Harry Maguire. That tells you something. While everybody expects Jordan Henderson to go to Saudi Arabia, his Liverpool teammate is likely to do it first. According to Fabrizio Romano, Fabinho has agreed personal terms with Al Ittihad and it's now up to the clubs to agree the fee. Al Ittihad gave £40 million to see Fabinho link up with N'Golo Kante and Karim Benzema. The deal seems imminent. The Brazilian is no longer training with Liverpool. As Liverpool's midfield is getting dismantled, new players have to come in. A surprising name has come up, Calvin Phillips. The Man City midfielder barely played last season and was even accused by Pep Guardiola of having excessive weight. Phillips is still an England international, but Liverpool fans don't care. They don't want to see him at Anfield. Expensive, injury-prone and will not be cheap. When Ronald Lukaku retires, the only fan base with an ounce of respect for him may be West Bromwich fans. That's because Inter Milan are furious with Lukaku, who's landed himself into a new drama. According to Gianluca Di Marzo, Inter found out Lukaku had been in talks with our rivals Juventus behind their backs for some time. As a response, Inter no longer want to sign him. In a typical Lukaku fashion, he once promised to never join Juventus or AC Milan. There's only Inter for me in Italy. Juventus and AC Milan, never, he said in 2021. So, in other words, expect him to kiss the AC Milan's barge in a few years. Lukaku will now have to join Chelsea for preseason and is expected to do so on Tuesday. Chelsea still want him gone for good, but everything hinges on Juventus now. Grab your popcorn. It's hard to imagine Harry Kane outside Tottenham after all these years. However, the biggest promise of him leaving Spurs may have been made. Bayern Munich's honorary president Uli Hoeneß has heard enough to believe Kane will join them this summer. He heard it from Kane himself. Hoeneß revealed, if Kane keeps his word, we'll get him. Tottenham will have to buckle. This is an ambitious statement, especially the Spurs part. Tottenham chairman Daniel Levy keeps rejecting the bids for Kane, the last one being £70 million. Spurs' new head coach, Angie Postikoglu, didn't appreciate this kind of outspokenness from Bayern. He said that if other clubs talk about Spurs' players, it's their problem. But Tottenham shouldn't forget their problem. If they don't sell now, Kane will be a free agent next summer. A slightly forgotten Aaron Ramsey has come back to the United Kingdom, not to England and not to the Premier League. Ramsey has returned to his boyhood club Cardiff City on a two-year contract. Last season, the Wales-based club narrowly avoided relegation from the Championship and will need Ramsey's help next season. The curious thing is that on the same day, Ramsey's seven-year-old son, Sonny, signed the contract with Cardiff City's academy. Both have taken the number 10 shirt. Like father, like son. Ramsey's career went downhill following his Arsenal exit for Juventus in 2019. He also played for Rangers and Nice without making much impact. But he's only 32, so hopefully he still has something to offer. Chelsea have made another signing this summer after Christopher Nkunku and Nicholas Jackson. Highly rated right winger Angelo Gabriel has joined the Blues from Santos for £13 million. The 18 year old is the youngest ever player to make his debut in the Brazilian league. He was 15 at the time. Angelo's main strength is his left foot. Cuts in from the right using his dribbling to create dangerous situations. A bit like Noni Madueke. The Brazilian still has to work on his end product. 
he's only scored 5 goals and made 10 assists in 129 Santos appearances. About 7 players could still leave Chelsea this summer to complete the clear out. Hakim Ziyash is expected to go even if his Saudi Arabia transfer fell apart. Somewhat forgotten Callum hudson odoi wants to go, Nottingham Forest are interested. Romelu Lukaku is now a target for Juventus, Pierre-Emery Kubamiang most likely has no place in the squad, and Ethan Ampadu has a year left on his deal and it's hard to see him stay. At least two players will go on loan. Omari Hutchinson and Harvey Bale aren't going to fly to the United States for preseason. According to The Athletic, they have been told to find loan clubs to continue their development. Both are highly rated, but will not have much game time if they stay. Arsene Wenger doesn't often speak about his former club Arsenal, but now he has. The Gunners have spent £200 million on new signings to challenge Man City to the league title once again. But is it going to be enough? Wenger said, Arsenal is now in a good financial situation. I believe we will win the championship. It is as simple as that. I have less doubts about Arsenal than about my cycling today. Wenger also opened up on the kind of money Arsenal can spend these days. If I had the money, why not? Wenger replied when asked if he would spend £105 million on Declan Rice. Arsenal fans on Tribuna salute the former manager and his blessing to win the league title. The last time the Gunners did it was in 2004, the famous Arsene Wenger's Invincibles. Derry Ali's mother Denise has reacted to her son's emotional interview. As a reminder, Delhi revealed he was molested by his mother's friend when he was six. He eventually found new adoptive parents, as he calls them, even though he was never legally adopted. Denise claims she knew nothing. I had no idea he'd been molested. I'm so sorry. I cannot put into words how upset I am I no longer have contact with my son. A member of Delhi's family from his Nigerian father's side has reacted differently. The unnamed individual claims that Delhi has been brainwashed. He said that when Delhi was sent to Africa at the age of seven, he attended one of the best schools and the driver picked him up every day. An Instagram account even posted a number of pictures with Delhi in Nigeria. The pics are supposed to prove Delhi actually had a happy childhood and that his father supported him until the adoption by the new family, which was never made legal. This may not be the end of the story. If you have enjoyed this episode, like the video, subscribe to the channel and also visit our website tribuna.com. There we cover every major Premier League story and leave no stone unturned in our quest to bring you the ultimate football experience.